title of today's video is What is my power color? Thank you to Winnie BLB for tagging me on this video and also thank you to Nick JSNE. I hope I got that correct. I will put both of their videos down in the description box below. Do check them out. So I'm supposed to show you the five favorite pieces in my collection that's in my power color. But before I do that, I would like to take you all to a short trip down memory lane because as I was making this video, I realized that my love affair with my power color goes way, way back. So let's go take a trip there. So just a quick trip down memory lane. As I was preparing for this video, I remembered that my love affair with my power color actually began so long ago, something like 32 to 35 years ago. And that's when I was just starting out in my working life. So here I have my duffel bag which traveled with me practically all the time when I was a flight attendant. This was my carry-on bag. And back then we, I still remember in this compartment, I would put my what we call galley shoes, which were the flat shoes. Because when we were walking outside of the aircraft, we would be wearing uh, a slight heel but when we were going to be preparing for service we would change into our flatter shoes so I'm surprised that yes held up actually I was expecting this to peel or something like that it's not a luxury brand but it's leather never heard of this Kiwi Italy but it has been ignored I think it has been kept in a cupboard for something like 20 years uh, neglected I probably should re just retire it and over here, there is this ostrich bag. This one I think I got maybe uh, when I started working ground jobs, no longer flying. And this one also traveled with me. This is Iting Aigna. If you guys, you guys may not know, I think it was quite popular back then. Um, now I think they still exist, but under the name of Aigna. So the leather is still holding up, although it's not in the previous uh, state. And then here, we always, us flying crew, always like to have this spare bag. It's a foldable bag inside. You see the hardware is really rusted. We love to go to, uh, when we went to Korea, we love to go to the morning wholesale market, something like 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning to shop. The stuff there was so cheap. Huh. There you go. Yeah. Memories of those days back then, long ago. <laughs> Thanks for letting me share this with you. Thank you for coming along with me on that trip down memory lane. Gosh, you know, when I was preparing for the video and thinking about those bags, it really uh, stirred out a little bit of emotion because it's so long ago and, you know, as a young lady just starting out, uh, so many things to learn and back in those days there was no such thing as social media we were getting information through newspapers hard copies uh, sometimes on the news or just going to the library and doing research but you guys are so lucky nowadays with social media you can find out about bags and get information uh, and go to Instagram look at pictures so times have really changed so anyway, back to the video, we are supposed to show you our five favorite bags in our power color and you obviously know now it's black. And I kind of cheated on my power color last year. I thought, ah, it's so boring. Let me just introduce some life into, some color into my life. And I started buying uh, pink bags. I went and bought my Birkin 30 and I bought uh, my red Kelly and uh, earlier this year also I had an LV which has a bit of pink in it as well but there's no denying, no getting away with it. In between that, I still went ahead and bought some more black handbags so <laughs> it is truly my power colour, okay? Before I go on, if you're new around here, I talk about handbags, lifestyle, luxury, if that's the kind of thing you like, do consider subscribing. Doesn't cost you a thing at all but it helps content creators like myself uh, for our channel to grow so I really appreciate that. This is not in any particular order and the first one is my Chanel 19. 
This I just acquired very recently. I did an unboxing of this bag and I will put the link to that video down in the description box. Go and check it out. So she is so pretty. I hope she holds up well. I've heard horror stories about the quality of the leather. Um, generally, of Chanel handbags not being very good these days. But so far, I think that she is so pretty and so luxurious when I touch her. And I have seen this bag many years ago before the crazy price increases. I wish I bought then. I didn't. Too late. But I'm glad I finally did just before the recent price increase. So here is the Chanel 19 gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Okay, next bag. And by the way, you guys, do feel free to comment in the comments box down below your guesses of what other bags are going to be appearing here. So I've already done one. Four more to go. So the next one is my Gucci Soho Disco. Yes, I featured this in several of my videos. This is a super functional bag. I love that it is lightweight and it has a adjustable strap. I enjoy wearing this cross body. Also, the fact that it is made of grained leather, pebbled leather, makes it super, super durable. So I really, really like this bag. I'm so glad I bought it. Um, it was about five years ago because it is now uh, changed. It's, it's no longer available in this design. Recently, I did a video showing the differences between this and the Blondie, which looks very, very similar to this, but there are a bit uh, there are some differences, so go and check out that video. But I'm glad I got this one because I actually think I prefer this version of the camera bag. So here is my Gucci Soho Disco. Have you guys made your guesses yet? Down to three. And by the way, guys, excuse me if I'm looking all sweaty and all. Can you believe it? It's almost 11 p.m. at night and it's so warm here. And I don't have the air content on at full blast because otherwise the, the noise would interfere with the videoing. So it's very hot at the moment. Anyway, the third one on my list. Did you guess this one? This is my Chanel reissue in the size 227 or, or large. You may call it. It's almost exactly the same size as a jumbo. I love this bag, got this about 10 years ago. I like that it is made of this distressed leather. So I'm not too, too afraid to use this bag because it already looks wrinkly and also if there's any kind of scratches on it, it's not very visible. I don't feel stressed out about using this bag even though it's expensive. Uh, because just because it is already in distressed leather, as the hardware as well, this ruthenium hardware, it looks like it's scratched out, right? But it's not. It's already made that way. So I'm not worried about getting any further scratches on it. Um, it's not too heavy for what it is compared to the Jumbo. It is just so, so beautiful. I am actually trying to look for the reissue in a smaller version and in a different color because I just think it is so beautiful. Um, just let you have a look on the inside. Of course, it's a double flap. And then inside is the gorgeous burgundy lining. Love, love, love this bag. So far, did you make any correct guesses? The next one, come on guys, you all know this one. This one has to appear here, which is my Fendi Mini Peekaboo. You have seen this bag so many times in my videos. This was one of my five best everyday bags. This was in my um, first 10 items, 10, first 10 luxury items to buy when you're starting a collection. This definitely and obviously had to be in this video so here it is again <laughs> if you haven't gotten sick of seeing it 
but it is so good this bag is so so good it is so versatile you can use it top handle as an evening bag you can use it strap is here you can use it as a, a shoulder bag um, or as a cross body bag because it is adjustable uh, you know when you remove it just as a top handle so cute and i also love that it is made of pebbled leather so again more carefree that compared to a smooth leather the interior oh here is the the raincoat that came with it yes peekaboo come with a raincoat and on the inside is this brown lining how gorgeous is that so many details on this bag it has feet i totally adore this bag you guys if you don't have a peekaboo in your life you should totally get one so this is your last chance to put your guesses down below because we are down to the last one there are three more handbags three more black handbags in my collection i'm not counting the the vintage ones that i showed you in the earlier part of the video which one do you think it is that's coming it is my ta kelly 28 in retone togo leather gold hardware i got this pre-love in the second half of last year um, i will put the link to the unboxing video down below if you want more information very very classic bag so glad i added her to my collection Winnie, thank you so much for tagging me and I'll also tag other people so that we can try to keep this video alive. To everyone who is spending a precious time here watching this video, I really appreciate it. Thank you to my existing subscribers for your continued support. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll know when I next upload a new video. So take care and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!